In this video, I want to take a quick tour of the current state of the lab and the storage bunker. Uh, some of you may know I have left Washington State and found myself in Wyoming, a little town called Torrington uh, down in the uh, southeast corner of the state. I'm slowly getting the lab put back together. It's been a long journey getting here. Uh, we started the move in August, and I'm just now today at the point where I could actually do some soldering back in the lab. I have a couple of videos all chained together here. There's a lot of breath noises noises in them. I apologize for that. Uh, Post-COVID world, lucky me. So I apologize for all the breath noises. Not much I can do about it. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, uh, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, subscription to the channel is always nice. Uh, comments are always nice. So let's jump in and take a look at the video. So I wanted to shoot a quick video of the current state of the lab. Got some nice storage here above the bench. All the little cardboard boxes are full of hand tools and soldering aids, etc. There's an experimental camera rig on the bench at the moment to do overhead shots. You can see my Weller pencil down here, the JBC sitting behind. I still don't have my tips for the JBC. They're lost someplace in the move. There's a bookcase started back here for data books. I've still got to pull stuff out of boxes. We have storage over here on this wall. Lots of good stuff. Uh, stock at components, some mixed TTL, some sockets. This is all resistors up here, trimmer caps. Or no, this is all capacitors, tantalums, electrolytics, trimmer caps, computer grade, etc. Some switches that I'm still trying to get organized, pots and knobs. Back in this corner, I have a bunch of organization stuff I still need to deal with. Uh, there's lots of little cardboard bins full of just stuff, as you can see. We come around to this bookcase with more cardboard bins loaded with stuff. Starting to remember where things are. I've still got a lot of organization to do. We've got test gear. So down in the center, there's a UV oven. That's a resistor uh, substitution box I built that's high power way back when. There's a, I think it's a milliamp meter, milliamp meter there. That's for, I, I use it for Nixie tubes. There's a Hitachi scope, nice little analog scope. Uh, design lab, a Roden Schwartz scope. HP high voltage power supply. It's a uh, Panaplex tube counter. A nice little counter, 50 megahertz, a power supply I picked up, who knows where. Another substitution box, a little cardboard box with all of my uh, peak gear in it, capacitor testers, transistor testers, etc. An isolation transformer I haven't tested yet. Uh, I think that's all CMOS logic, power resistors. Hidden back in there is linear ICs, uh, carbon resistors. And we come back over to this side and down at the bottom are voltage regulators, DuPont connectors and pin headers. And then there's wrap wire, etc. in here, all kinds of cables. Again, this still needs to be sorted and organized. I hear a garbage bag falling over and then I had to hang more shelving in the closet. And there's a component collection there on a shelf, additional storage bins. Um, a lot of, in, in those little flat containers are a lot of ICs, 8080s, Z80s, UARTs, all that kind of stuff. So a fair amount of stuff. And of course, I've still got a big bag full or boxes full of stuff to be sorted. But you know, the lab area itself is coming together. This is the room I'm calling the bunker. There's a couple dressers there. One of them gets filled with S100 cards, etc. The other one's kind of overflow. I've got some shelving up down here. There's a bunch of monitors across the bottom and just kind of storage for larger stuff, stuff I don't necessarily need up in the lab. My Amigas are back there, my Atari ST, uh, 8080 uh, briefcase computers, parts, bins, etc. There's just a lot of stuff back there. There's still a lot of boxes that still need to be gone through. I'm gonna need additional shelving down here. Lots of boxes. There's, back in the corner back there, there's 220. Uh, outlets, 
uh, 110 outlets as well. There's a hot and cold water. There's a water heater buried back in there. So this room's actually a tornado shelter, I believe, in the house. It's got concrete walls. It's got an emergency exit here with a ladder. Uh, it's also a fire escape. Uh, this was used as a bedroom by one the previous owner. But as you can see, there's just a lot of stuff still to sort through. Uh, lots of books, etc. So, you know, it's a nice space for larger item storage as long as I keep the emergency exit clear. I got to get some canned food and potable water stored down here. Batteries, radio, etc. In case there is a tornado, I am living now in the heart of tornado country. It's a full flight of stairs down, so there's a half here. Make a right, and there's a half uh, stair going up. And, of course, the lab is directly above me. So, anyhow, here is this space. It's very nice. Well, if you got to the end of the video, I much appreciate it. Uh, looking forward to comments. If you feel like it's a worthy video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video.